hello. I'm here. <laughs> I'm still not fully better yet. <laughs> it's just my nose. It's so, so unfortunate. Hey, yo, it's the kick gets in the nose. Feels good, man. Oh, yeah, but I, I want to play games for this. <laughs> Kenshin's such a maintenance man. I think I might have missed a bit. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was under maintenance till I remembered that the banner ends today. I'm like, oh shoot, the banner ends. That's wait a minute. Doesn't that mean maintenance? Their server maintenance. <laughs> it be what it be. I'm like. I'm like, you know, we could just watch spooky videos or something. It should be quite fun. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, washa. Hello. Wow. I I didn't want to watch this one first though. I love this uh, YouTube. Or I love their art so much. Their art is so nice. The heck did I get? Oh, I got a Sonic commercial. I let me. I, I haven't finished pulling everything up yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a ghost tour. I see this usual. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. What the? If you want to go to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like this person's art. Their art's just so cute. If you want, I think you should definitely go to them. That's really just how it be, huh? Hole. Oh. Is it gonna be a trip to Fontaine? Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh. I just love the art style so much. I usually I follow them on Twitter and all that. I just like their stuff. I watch it whenever I can, forever, whenever it's in my feed. I saw that was here this morning, so I'm like, shoot, I can watch that later if I do this. Cause I didn't save to. <laughs> cute, cute. But yeah, like Farina's holiday. It's just really cute. Dang, there's already too spooky bit. This really just sums it up. Spooky videos, memes, fails, and then a lot of Genshin. <laughs> that one just seems funny. Alright, let me... Can I just get the channel? Unfortunate. Uh... Alright. In order still. Oh boy. I that one still freaks me out. I'll probably be skipping some through some of them. Boys from the bushes. Some of them Davis, who lives on the Louis Bull Tribe kind Reserve of. in Alberta, Canada, just is relaxing at like, home one evening with like her the, family. I don't know why, but the one with kids just sounds coming from the dense are, thicket like, of bushes just put me backyard. to sleep, to be honest. But they don't see anything there. I don't know any what other way to phrase it. It's truly creepy. Because it's like, it's a kid, man. Oh, it's this one! Oh, I remember this one. Because this one just confused me. There's like a little gremlin or something in there. <laughs> like in their, uh, like in the bushes over there talking back to them. And at one point they have like a, it's just, it's not spooky. It's just kind of funny what happens. Oh, there's 
Oh, come out so I can see you. Come out. Come on. Come out. Come. Dude, it's just like a little gremlin, man. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> I looked away Come for on. the one second where it made the sound. Hey, it's f***ed off! What's wrong with you? <laughs> that one always just makes me laugh. Because <laughs> it's a, it's a whoa. I was not happy with that one. A creepy voice seems to mock the family, mimicking what they say and eerily laughing at them while hiding in the bushes. But believe but it's it or like, not, I don't know. the situation takes an even Because it could literally just be a dude making turn. a voice in the middle of a bush. But it's just kind of funny, Come on out. to be honest. Why not? Yeah, come on out! Let's mock this guy. Yeah, it's... Like... <laughs> Like come something's on, telling you you want to play and I see you in the middle of a bush. You're like, yeah, come on over here, champ. Let's go grab that drink. No. I don't know, man. But like the first half of that is just funny to me. Because it's just like, okay, dude. I don't know, Whatever is hiding in the bushes now asks... Wanna play? And with that, the family has now just had enough. Wanna play a game? Officers, and with that, they had enough and called the police. The they really ain't wanna One play no games today. Also hears the raspy little voice mocking him. But even oh. though he says the voice sounds right next to him, he says he didn't see anyone in the bushes. Donine says that to this day, this disturbing event remains hmm. unexplained. Many video Wild. commenters believe that this could be some kind of creature roaming it's the Louisville tribe or a... what? Nah, it's probably just like a gremlin. Voice a gremlin. Be. Oh, spooky. What the... Hiding among the graves. Nuke's top five viewer Savannah Escoto says that she had a very strange Ooh, experience. Oh, this could be interesting. When she took her four-year-old daughter Isabella to visit her brother's grave at the San Fernando Cemetery in San Antonio, Texas. It always feels weird seeing people filming in cemeteries. What though. is it? Come here. It really just feels like a place where you shouldn't record. Why don't you want to go sit down over there? There's someone sitting there. I'm scared of what? What this girl shadow? What girl shadow? What's that? What is she? Behind the tree? Yeah. Little Isabella says that she sees, quote, a girl shadow behind a tree in the cemetery and comes hurrying back to her mom. When Savannah turns her camera toward the tree, she catches what appears to be a face from behind Oh the my tree. gosh, spooky. No. He has no idea. Welcome to the Nuke Stop, your paranormal investigator, Antonio uh. Zamudio. On the podcast, Antonio tells the story of Augusto, an 11-year-old boy who started behaving very oddly after buying a strange-looking doll. Hey, I'm probably going to be muted and talking a little bit less to dog because I'm still toy, coughing. Staying up all you night probably and hear my nose being stuffed up. So. After hearing unexplained voices in their house, Gusto's mother had had enough. Oh my God. She threw the doll away. The creaky old. But... The doll mysteriously reappeared three days later. Bro, the doll re the ones where the doll reappears the are always wild, bed. man. Paranormal investigator Antonio sets out to help the family and installs several static cameras throughout the home. <laughs> the doll is placed in the hallway. Sorry, when they said that, all I thought about was Woody running, uh, running across the, the floor like a FNAF like camera or something. something He's just zooming right really chilling. quickly. Huh? What the, bro? Why was I actually kind of right? What? Dang, they should get me for these. What the? 
Bro, I got all so them good boy ideas. Falls asleep, the doll begins to move and then seems to actually run to the 11 year old's bedroom. Like, bro. Antonio and the family are shocked when they watch the footage. The investigator decides to take the doll from the family and has kept it locked away at his home ever since. So, could oh, yeah. the doll be possessed by a spirit? Or just what do you think happened here? Let me I know. think I predicted it. It was an easy clock. Unstable. This next strange ah, video was recorded by funny. a CCTV camera and a he horse made a, stable. He made a the horse The location <laughs> of the stable and the original source of the footage are unknown. The video shows a horse in its stall, relaxed and peaceful. The horse really starts can't... freaking out. The... I don't like this one. I just feel bad for the horses. The pet of this video they're normal. Horses just, just, just get freaked out and they just start slamming the into the walls the and stuff. Needs a lift. What happens next is something he'll never forget. He'll never forget. Oh, it's the ghost lady in the taxi. I remember I spaced out or I spaced back in at the very end of this one. I remember this. So what? What? Did he let somebody in? Huh? Wait, I don't get it. There's no way I spaced out at the start of this again, right? Did he pick up a... Wait, I know it's a goat. I didn't see it, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't even see the ghost. I could have swore he just, like, wait, did the door close by itself or did he close the door? Okay, I actually want to go look at it. Uh of the road. It never forget. Huh? That's wild. Wait, that's actually wild. The the door opened and cl Okay. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. I was confused. I'm like, wait, but there was no one there. But my brain didn't put two and two together that he did. The door opened on its own. Huh? What? We can see Just the like taxi a door open yeah. and close. And Jarek swears a woman wearing a long white and purple dress stepped into his taxi, Dang, requesting I to be taken like to Scout Barrio, a neighborhood in the city. See, so I knew he was going to show it again. I just wasn't sure how to do it. To discover that there's no woman in his car, she. I've heard about the ghost taxis before, though. He's baffled and looks around the back seat. There's been quite a few of them. Disbelief. Where someone Jerk will get in the taxi, tired, but then all of a sudden the, the, the person face. drive it. Or but like, it doesn't even have to be a taxi. It'll be like an Uber or something. Car. So could it be that Jarek gave it a just taxi up a ghost to a gone? spirit? Or just what do you think was happening here? I don't know. You could only see one of his hands. He could have done it with the... Uh, how would he have opened it? I guess there could have been someone outside. That his son caught on camera. While exploring an old there really could have just been Paso somebody Texas. outside opening and closing the door. No. No. Why? Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you do this to yourself? They really just said we about to go into a cave where you, you can't even stand it? up. Oh. As Ryle's son pans the camera, someone or something can be seen hiding in the darkness of the cave. Raul explains Bruh. in his email that he didn't see anything at the time and didn't notice the figure until they looked back okay, at their videos cool. later. 
So what is this? I mean, it's a cave. It makes sense. Let me know. That's just no-go territory, to be Mystery completely honest. Mirror in Morocco. Dang, I thought it was going to be the woods. Top 5 viewer Carlo reached out to me about a strange video recorded by his sister Grace during a trip to Morocco. Grace and her husband are at the Riyadh La Russa Hotel in Fez, Morocco. Grace decides to take a video of the beautiful 17th century My only century thought was, dang, that's a lot of building. <laughs> what happens next? I mean, like, look at that. That's a, that's a lot of buildings. I can't pause. Video of the there we 17th go. century palace style interior. What happens next is truly bizarre. Oh my god, it's so this bizarre. Is going inside? Is there gonna be like a little girl on the balcony? The ghost in the mirror? The dude's gonna walk by? Outside. We're now heading to the. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Huh? 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 Wait, what? Huh? Something about that feels off, but I don't know why. But my brain can't put two and two together right now. A man appears out of nowhere, startling Grace so much that she apologizes Who? for almost walking into him. Huh? Now here's Wait, where yeah, how did weird. they get in when taking a closer but look it's at the, the footage, dude. Grace and her husband can clearly be seen in the reflection of a mirror. Yeah, but the isn't that the husband in front of her? That's but why I was so confused. No man. Then in a split second the man appears right in front of her, standing quietly. Grace then turns towards the right. exit and we see her reflection again in a different wall mirror. But again, the standing man is not there. That's because he she would, where he would be, would be at the gone. door. Now, finally, perhaps this is just normal camera blur. But when taking a close look at the man's face in the video, something just doesn't look quite right. I don't know. But it looks like camera blur. You decide blur. on this. So did Grace capture a paranormal event on camera? Could this be a so-called glitch in the Matrix? Either way. I no, it Let just looks like a dude. Oh, there it is. It looks like. Okay, so it's like the camera wasn't there, so he was. He was on that. What the? Oh. That marked one of the darkest chapters. These are three predators who worked at Oof. Nickelodeon. Oof. Your car's extended. Yeah, Gen warranty. The wood. Popular Jordanian paranormal oh. investigator Hassan Barbar. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. Location Dang somewhere it. in the middle of nowhere. When suddenly he I don't know why I'm being so slow on this ghost in the right. distance. I thought I'd be on top of my game, like yeah, easy clap. This stuff is like so, you have so to be easily dumb. like. Some Wait, I remember this one. I was laughing so hard. I tuned. I, I like brought my brain back into it just because I was laughing so hard. Bro, the ghost takes over his car. It's so funny. He, he, he like goes over now, obviously My favorite part of this is when he goes over the, the car and the car starts driving down. off on its own That was so was funny captured live on That's the only thing I remember from this clip is the car starts driving on its own I think he starts cussing or something. I don't remember praying probably. I don't know. It was just really funny Isn't that just your antenna? What? 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 Uh, okay. Rip the light. My only thought was dang, someone really just tried to like uh, attack him. What? Something jumps out at his son, absolutely scaring this out of him. He eventually regains his composure, but when he looks around the car, he finds nothing and no one. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately for Hassan, this isn't the end. <laughs> I've heard to drive off. Drive off. Drive off. Hey, there it goes, baby. 
بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء هي like what do you even do man the ghost literally just stole your car hey like, yeah <laughs> human or a dog? What do you mean of a human or a dog? Dog? A hole? A bro, that is, those, those aren't close. What? A silent car seems to just drive away on okay. its own, eventually coming to a stop a little way down the road. Hassan is shocked by the bizarre experience as he once again finds no one in or around his car. Oh the investigator God. has had enough. He ends his live stream and drives home, presumably wanting to be sure that his car doesn't just drive <laughs> home without him. So did Hassan capture creepy gen activity live on camera? Oh boy. I is it all just an was not ready hoax? for that again. You decide. The old sacred heart. Restaurant employee Nikki works at Ozone Pizza, located what? in the old abandoned and restored Sacred Heart Hospital in Why? Pensacola, Florida. Wait, Hospital that's a huge building to have a pizza place be. What the? the pizza restaurant, the large structure is mostly empty. It's said that the old hospital is haunted okay, by I former guess patients they only have a and the part ghosts of, it, of nuns like... who work there. It's 11:30 at night. There must be a reason that the only one walk around there, the hospital dude. with his co-workers after their shift. That's when the group spots something very creepy. Oh my God! You see it? You see it? It had arms. What? It had arms. Took a lap. Hall. No, those are arms. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's a real person. No, those are arms now. No, those are arms. No, those are arms. Dang, that's wild. No, no, I don't care. Those are arms. Yeah, there's. I don't know. It, it really just looks like someone's inside of it. Yet someone can be seen standing behind a window. The group freaks out and have no idea who or what it could be. Nikki and his yeah. friends believe that the creepy apparition might belong to one of the nuns who used to work in the hospital. And a close up of their capture does indeed look a bit Bruh, like a that just woman looks creepy, who man. Dressed in a nun's habit. Wait, it's staring at them ask, too. What do you think this is? Oh boy, you I don't know. It really just looks like a person a standing thing inside the building. In the basement. Oh, I'm TikTok not that user Will Bro, Graves is home alone when he man. starts to hear the I've disturbing sound of someone walking around in his basement. Now, Will believes his house to be haunted, so he starts recording and cautiously heads downstairs to check it out. Attics are fine, but it really depends on the attic. I guess basements are fine, but it really depends on the basement too. Oh, oh, oh that's a lot of doors. I swear. Oh, never mind. Okay, that was still the living room. I'm like, that's not that bad. That looks pretty cool. Exactly what it is. Whoa. But it's kind of creepy. Hall? Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the uh I'm confused. Is you showing the house or is this there ain't no way this whole thing is underneath? Very strange. That's wild that they painted the door the same color as the wall. Sorry. What that noise was, but I don't know. I'm not right Goes now, so. for the handle accidentally, just punches uh, the wall. We'll see, I guess. Look out back. Penny, penny. Yo, pretty backyard, but god dang. Back that's. I don't know. That really looks like a forest. There's a lot of strange things that. happening. Figures, shadows. So. I don't know. Maybe some tips. Advice <laughs> help out. Ghost tips and tricks. <laughs> that would be a wild thing. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a wild thing. Did Just, you see? I need some ghost tips and tricks. As Will walks downstairs into his basement, someone can be seen standing inside what? his bathtub, weirdly just facing the wall. 
When Will looks back into the bathroom about 30 seconds later, the figure has completely disappeared. Will says that he's done several paranormal investigations at his local cemetery, and he believes something might have followed him home. But Oof. is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I mean, it really wouldn't be that hard to just get, like, your friend to stand on the bathtub for you. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my schedule is weird, so please you're doing your thing. Just have them slowly, the like, get out so they don't make noise or anything and just get out of there. Follow me on the socials if you've got some random Oh, yeah, that was the last one. Most of the time, I answer. I am here. I swear. Uh... I still don't like that one. Uh, next one. Next video. I didn't hit chip, huh? I like chips all the way. I ain't heard of nothing else there, so. There's something Spooky. in the basement. I don't know why. I saw. I just saw the top five, and then I'm like, "Oh, it's the top five this time. It's top ten. My brain just went in circles. That same night, in his video, he shows his basement and where he and his friends will be. Yo, ghost playing the drums would be wild. You just go down the stairs, and all of a sudden, you see the drums getting like absolutely like just going off. Like playing nice, like a really cool song. I don't even know, bro. The <laughs> the drums are what the. That's wild. So you're trying to go to sleep. I mean, it would still just be really funny, uh, if the drums were playing boss music or something. That was kind of that. That just made me jump because I I saw what it. What the hell? But then His him Oliver doing like the, the like, he sees a tall dark figure him like gasping or whatever was the thing that freaked me out. Oliver stumbles back before turning on the lights and taking another look. But whatever was standing there seems to have just disappeared. What makes this footage even creepier is that when slowed down, it becomes clear that whoever or whatever this is seems to be wearing a hat. So if you don't know, Across the world, countless people have reported seeing a being known as the quote Hat Man. Hat Although some man. claim to have seen the apparition while fully awake, the Hat Man is known to terrorize victims of sleep paralysis. Oh, I asked Oliver if he had ever experienced sleep paralysis. It just feels life. like a hallucination. He that thing. He actually did, but only when he was a child. Really? So could Oliver have actually captured proof of the Hat Man's existence? Let me know what you think. There's See, a vending machine at the peak of Mount Fuji. It's true. There's like five what? million of them in Japan. Okay. Out of the, mud. the the thing is, I Earlier think it would be a really funny thing if the dude didn't gas and, and he went around the corner. The if instead he just went like, "Yo, what up, dude?" And, and just kept the camera out, like, like what would happen? Like, would he get charged by the ghost? Would the ghost just like disappear? I don't know, because it really could just be, it's probably just someone dressed up or something like that, and they hide or something. But I don't know, what? What, it's just a dude. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw the dude doing something with the water. down the stairs, behind her, someone or something completely covered in mud appears to follow her. It looks like he's just searching for something. Continues up the stairs as she finishes her report. The footage goes viral with many shocked viewers speculating oh the figure to be God. some kind of creature or monster. Oh Either way, whoever or whatever it is seems it to not really be just looks clothes, like a person. Have any hair and seems to have distorted features. I don't know, Obviously, it looks it pretty like normal to me. Normal it just looks like he's balding and would didn't want to get his clothes wet. Of being washed away in the flood, or at the very least becoming very sick from the muddy, bacteria-filled water. So just who or what is this? Let me know. Like you could you see his whole body, man. Eye of the gen. It really just looks like a person. To TikTok without a source. 
Some people speculate that the original creator is none other than popular Jordanian ghost hunter Ihab Kasmia, who I've met okay. many times. But I've been unable to find the original video, so oh. I can't verify. However, the short video is definitely very creepy. One more. Hey, 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 hey. What? Oh. Oh, that's Gee. funny. Drop kick it, bruh. Bismillah. Pepe. Why does everyone just. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Bismillah. Everyone is fearless? It's like, well, not everybody. Some people are fearless, but like dumb fearless. Like, if you see a ghost that is like. I think a djinn tries to like harm you and get rid of you. If you see one staring at you through an opening in like that folding curtain, you're telling me you're gonna go jump around the side of it and go boo, pretty much, and you're not gonna go and drop kick it to knock it down or anything? Can be seen hundred percent. If I'm there, I'm drop kicking it. Hundred percent. The door, but. Hundred percent getting drop kicked. Some believe the face to be that of a gin, a shape shifting sinister. See, I was thinking that seems to be see, with the, uh, the one of the now, without the original source and video. The videos I was watching was just like, dang, that's kind of facts. Is it like, a on but what's worse? Is it all just an elaborate like, hoax? if you let, let's just say it's real. <laughs> What's worse, you seeing the ghost, or whatever, and running away, and hearing it go after you? Or you going at the ghost and like drop kicking, uh, and drop kicking the, uh, curtains down or whatever? Or how did it, I'm curious don't know exactly at all what's going on here. As he spins around the door, he goes wide. I know, it's just like... Face can be seen staring. There's a shape out the. Is it a gen caught on There's camera? There's room for a person. Oh, 100% there is. I'm videos. just saying if it so is like actually real. 100%. Nuke stop five. Be sure to email us at five at gmail I am email gonna drop kick that curtain. Paranormal nightmare. Paranormal investigation. curtain is getting drop kicked. Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare. I will TV full series. sprint charge at it and woman jump. Cheryl. Cheryl believes a demon is destroying her life. In a tragic series of events, Cheryl's father passed away, and not long after, her family Like, I'd love to run away, but I am too worried about running away. Of her children. Cheryl is now I am pretty sure you cannot outrun a ghost. <laughs> conditions in a very that would be wild. In 17 years, Josh and Sean say that they've never encountered a case as tragic and dangerous as this. The brothers even feel that their own personal safety could be at risk. Yeah, just facts, in this facts. You just have to be faster than at least one person around to you. Home to investigate. That's why I said I'd go ghost hunting, but only with a group of other people. That she might be dealing with you ain't ever gonna catch me anywhere near anywhere God. like this. I hate God. Without other people said, around me. I hate God. Why do you hate God? God is going to destroy Cause he you ate tonight. my pancakes. Where are you at right now? Oh, we're watching us. Is it raining? I can't tell. Worthless bitch. <laughs> who's a worthless? This ghost's really angry. What? Come on, the... tell me who's a worthless? I think you're worthless. Why? Why do you? Why Possessed. do people? Possessed. Taunt ghosts. Oh, oh no my. way. That's crazy. Possess, that's what we want. Oh, something, 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 turn on, go out there, go. Something turned on out there. So they want to possess the lady? Is that what you want to do to Cheryl? Are you wanting to possess her? Is that what you're trying to do? Whoa, air. Something just blew on my neck. Sorry, it's just the. Whoa, air. Here, you stand on here for this. Yeah, something just blew on my freaking neck. Oh. Right there. What was it? Something just grabbed my f***ing hip. Okay. I did not hit anything. I don't like, know, right man. I walked by, 
Something just grabs. This really feels like just a lot of saying. The two brothers receive very ominous replies through their spirit box, and Josh says something grabbed his hip. Sean begins to feel a pain in his stomach and takes a break outside in the car oh, no. while Josh stays behind. His fool Please listen. Oh? <gasps> no what way. The... Loud bang. Okay. Said, please listen, and then a huge freaking bang back there. Well, I mean, you gotta go see what it was. What the? Okay, that's three times. Three times I've been touched. Why? Why are you touching me? I mean, these are not just like little touches. These are big fing touches. Okay. While Josh is completely uh -huh. alone, he hears two loud bangs coming from somewhere inside Cheryl's home, after which he is touched. Again, I don't know, man. It's really break, easy to the just. The two brothers switch places, and whatever they... seems to be inside Cheryl's home seems to get very angry. Go to hell, Sean. Cause one oh, time I, f I think, I didn't know how my blanket was sticking yeah. out, and it rubbed against my leg, yeah. and I, I, so I freaked oh, out, and I'm like, oh, it's just my blanket. You're a f you. Oh my god. That was just because I couldn't see. Hell you are. You're going back where you came from. Bruh. Holy. Sh this where I need and Josh. Oh my God. Yeah, well, I say we're definitely dealing with the freaking demon. To end their investigation, okay. they ask Cheryl to sit in the house alone and attempt to communicate Bruh. what they now nah, believe man. to be a demon. Josh and Sean Why would sit they outside do that in the car. Him? What happens next scares the living out of them. They really just said you go in there after. <laughs> After taunting him for so long. Wait, there's literally nothing there, man. There was a huge f***ing black shadow right next to the f***ing window. I looked over and there was a huge black shadow right there next to the f***ing window. Holy let's just get the out of here. I didn't see nothing. This, this literally strange, just... unexplained dark mass hits the car window, giving Sean the jump scare of a lifetime. It really that, just looks the like a bird brothers flying have by. had enough. They cleanse the home and leave. Since the investigation, Cheryl says that she has no longer had any paranormal or demonic trouble in her home uh, or I don't know about in that. her life. Yeah. You can watch this entire investigation yeah. over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal yeah, Nightmare TV know, Series. A ghostly gift. Cassie O'Malley from Lamont, Illinois loves monkeys. So when one day she receives a monkey doll Fortunate. as a gift, she's absolutely thrilled. That is, until she opens the box. Bruh, nah, what? Oh my f***ing god, I swear to god, this thing just f***ing looked at me, oh my For a split second, the creepy monkey doll seems to look directly at Cassie. Dang, that's wild. I was drinking water. Oh my God, I swear to God, this thing just f***ing looked at me, oh my- Cassie says she's tried everything to debunk what she captured on camera, but she hasn't found anything to explain it. After Dang, his size really did doll, move, that's wild. Hasn't stirred up any trouble. So for now, Cassie is keeping the creepy little monkey what? doll proudly on display Are you okay? But you literally you saw its eyes move, you're you like, did, ah, yeah, it's this. okay. I'ma just put it on my chair in the yeah, middle of my living comments. room. On display. Underestimate the power of kindness. Like, bros. Not that of a Bruh. Some people are wild, man. Oh my fing god, I swear to god, this thing just fing looked at me. Oh my Not home alone. Now, unfortunately, Ooh, like a lot of videos happy. these days, this next video was shared to the internet without a source. The video shows a woman alone at her home, which is said to be somewhere in Mexico. The woman says that she's been experiencing disturbing, unexplained activity in her home. Oh, it's I don't know, man. Someone really could have just been kneeling at her feet. 
realmente estoy solo. Estoy en walls and in bodies. Ni debajo de la cama, de hecho, el espacio es muy. Vean. Ahí se alcanzó a ver algo. Claro. Pero en realidad es just playing no hide and seek with them. No hay nada, no hay nadie. En casa. No hay nadie. De hecho, hace días yo compré este troll. No, why? Que aleja toda energía negativa. That cash win. Pero ya lleva varias noches pasando esto. Oh. A shadow oh. peers through the glass of the closed door oh. of the woman's bedroom. But when she looks. There's no one in the room. Suddenly the figure That's appears wild. again, but this time outside of That's the bedroom. Just wild. Again, the woman hurries out to search her home, but again, she finds nothing and no one to explain oh the creepy God. shadow. Unfortunately, without a source, we can only guess what happened to the woman and her creepy shadow visitor. I don't know, man. So after many requests and a oh my God, merch. New period, we've got stuff you probably what never the? even wanted to begin what with, the? but nevertheless, what the? we've got it. Black I mean, he's just been fat. About an allegedly haunted abandoned Man, I really didn't near where he lives in Yo. Prefecture, Japan. Oh, it's Japan. That's going to be good. In the late 1800s and has become infamous for suspicious, deadly accidents. Witnesses yeah, driving through the tunnel what? have reported seeing another How car with the pale what? apparitions of a man and woman in the front seat. These apparitions are said to haunt you for the rest of okay, your I'm life getting tingles, if you man. look them in the eyes. Oh, another local ghost tale boy. says that a woman passed away in a tragic accident in the tunnel. It is said that her spirit appears on the tunnel road, dressed all in white. Oh boy. Kuro meets up with Takun, and even though it's storming, they decide to investigate the tunnel together. Oh, even of the bad better. Story, Takun waits in the car while Kuro explores the tunnel in search of paranormal proof. But Did you have strangely to be in the car? enough, it's Takun who's all alone in the car, who experiences he really is wearing an anonymous truly mask. bizarre. How's the what? Well, yeah, I mean, it was the car. <laughs> Bro, I heard that too, man. But it's like the whole point was about being in a car. The voice seems to whisper, which translates to Oh no. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Kuro is all alone somewhere in the middle of the tunnel, and he too experiences something he just can't explain. It's not audible because of the loud storm, but Kuro swears that he heard a voice and footsteps loud enough to send him running back to the car. I, I just the, the only thing I can think of when he is like here is dang, that's a pretty cool mask, man. <laughs> before he hears the voice and footsteps, but it isn't until he's home that he realizes what he captured, oh. and it's absolutely chilling. Is it really this though? Is the footage? Is it really? Did he leave the camera there? He had to grab it on his way out, right? Oh wait, never mind, he's holding wait, no, it is on the wall. What? Oh. Uh oh. I mean it's a little bit too fuzzy to be able to tell what it is. A pale is. disfigured face of what looks like a woman can be seen right behind Kuro, and the investigator doesn't see or hear anything. When reviewing his own footage, Kuro wonders if he caught oh, the spirit snap. of the woman who passed away in an accident on camera, and whether she was the one warning them to go home. Interesting. Kuro says that this is the most terrifying proof of the paranormal that he's ever captured. 
Uh, what do you think happened here? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know. I watched this entire spookies, investigation over on the YouTube channel, Black Story. I kind of hype myself up too much. Caught live on camera. Oh my god. Popular god. TikTok creator Millie George is doing her makeup one night when she decides to go live one to chat night. to her followers. It's late at night and she's home all by herself when her viewers spot something in the background that shocks uh -huh. her to her core. Yeah. Okay, so on the live, so oh, like one minute I'm doing cool. my makeup in the mirror, like 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 this, like literally doing nothing, and then there's the like just oh, and there's like a little kid or something oh, in her house. Just an alive like, hey, like, The sanatorium became in the 1980s. I don't know. It is estimated that over a thousand people have lost their lives inside these walls. It didn't include a 17-year-old really boy who thing. fell down I, I remember shaft that one too. in 2001. In a tragically ironic twist, the boy was actually on a ghost hunt in the building at the time. Bruh. The abandoned structure is falling apart and it's Bruh. fairly God, dangerous to wander around inside. Didn't we already see this one? Paranormal investigator Ian from the popular I remember YouTube commenting channel, on how broken that Hunter, building was. was. Determined to explore the sanatorium in hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. I remember it's commenting on how broken that building begins was. His investigation. Was this one Things of the top 10 scariest of the year? Start to get weird. So I've been watching them in order. Okay, those were footsteps. That's such a late reaction. What? I was so confused. I had enough times to be like, dang, yeah, that that sounds like heels. That sounds like heels. Someone's wearing heels in this building. Ian is a bit shaken up by the strange unexplained footsteps. That ain't sound like shoes. He that sounds calm like heels. As he continues to explore. Welcome in, friend. <laughs> They're just welcoming you in. Okay, as creepy as that was... I did feel a gust of wind when that happened. Oh, you know what? Go him. That's what it was. Go this dude. See, look at that. See? Holy oh, <laughs> Still creepy as hell. A door creepily opens Go this by dude. itself. But Go this quick dude. to point out, it was just the wind. Feels However, good, man. Then Ian starts to hear odd Feels noises from somewhere good. nearby. He it's always nice when they point out that kind of stuff. That he simply Cause like, yeah, there, there was a breeze. It's something like, truly chilling. You know it's good when they do that. You know it's good. It gives oh. more trust to the other stuff that they say. Paul. Oh. Is that? that just like a weight? Jordan, I think I just saw something. Just because of the Gus comment, I'm not saying anything on that. <laughs> Could you appear like that again? He pointed out the Gus, so I'm going to be nice and not say anything. <laughs> we'll just say, yes, yeah, real facts. <laughs> God, dude, it is cold over here. It's chilly. Chilies? Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I just went into that room. Bro, now I can think about is the freaking chips dude, and salsa from Chili's, man. What the That's f good right there. Imagine the world huh? Where it's a like gummy quest? On an what? Adventure. Each box of gummy quest comes Yo. with over 150 delicious gummies, including gummy heroes, monsters. Wait, that's actually really cool. Potions. There are over 25 unique fantasy flavors Wait. to battle with your taste buds. 
from the bitter acid of sour slime. Wait, that's actually really cool. If you, the only thing like that I think was like super cool about this is like I'd love to play like a board game with them, and like when the like monster dies, instead of like putting it on the side, you just eat it instead. <laughs> it's like D and D, but like food kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it well. Oh, it just sounds nice. <laughs> That was crazy. I just saw you. Did you just go into this room? My only thought was some dude hopping around the corner and be like, yeah, sorry, man. My name's Tom. I don't know. Oh, it's the lady with the heels. He really feels like me if I went ghost on him. Paul? Ma'am? Okay, I don't know about that one, Shay. Did you speak again? But Rip the Ghost saying, Are you following I think I just heard me? You. That's just kind of funny. Oh. oh! Like, if ghosts were real. Okay. You really like if they me, were really real. That. Did you just knock on a wall? I wonder what it's like for them for ghost hunts. Like, can you imagine if you're just like a ghost, you're minding your own business, doing your own thing in like a building or something, Could you and some dude again? all of a sudden starts coming in your house and like pointing out everything you're doing. And you like walk through the halls and someone screams like, I saw him! Oh, I saw him! About what he's just captured and he believes a spirit is trying you just to hear people sprinting at you but or as he continues to explore, something happens that quickly turns his excitement into pure terror. Oh? I mean, the ghost oh. lady probably ain't like being followed. Oh my god! <gasps> what? God. Sorry, Dude. the distant scream followed by run towards her, run towards her. Oh. Oh boy. The investigator is shaken up by a disturbing plea for help. Oh. Especially boy. since he's near the elevator shaft where 22 years ago another ghost hunter fell to his death. Oh. But Ian is determined to capture more paranormal That's evidence. Just so he continues especially to explore elevator. the creepy abandoned hallways and rooms. Eventually, he decides to take some photos down one of the long hallways, and things start to get. But like, that's creepy. one of the things, I'm though, man. Go sons. What the? Bro, that was not a cool transition, I man. I did not like that. I jumped from being scared. Basically, in all areas. Because I thought some ghost was just taking his care. That was not cool. I was trying to explain something, and now I don't remember. Open to catch one in a photo. Really good flash though. This dude is goaded. That's a really good flash. If there's anybody down. That's like the best flash that I've seen hallway. for a camera so far from any ghost hunter or whatever. From paranormal person. <laughs> Tang, they mean. <laughs> but it's just funny how he's coming like around. Was that you? Oh. Yeah, oh. Noises all around me right now. So all I could think about was him just spamming pictures in circles. Oh, I think I got something on here. Dude, that was like a figure. That's kind of weird. Oh my god, and it's gone. Dude, I just caught something. It was by that window. Holy sh**. Hey, yo. That was crazy. Do a little dance. Like a photo. See, but, okay, it's I'll say it, photo. Rip. It's literally the same exact thought he saw go across the stream earlier. That, or, that's all I'll say. Or video, whatever. Are you standing by this window? Holy crap. That was 
so freaking cool. Could you appear again? I mean, if it only appeared on camera. What? <gasps> oh my oh, god. Oh, dude! Wild. I just got that in the freaking camera! I don't know, man. It just looks kind of weird. I want my forest ones back. Holy crap. A disturbing white figure appears in a photo, and then Ian catches a bizarre white mist on camera in the exact same window. Ooh, so did Ian capture gee. evidence of the paranormal? Could the ghostly coughing, pleas for help, and the unexplained apparitions belong to the patients that died in the sanatorium? Ooh, Let me know what you think. Gee. You can watch this entire investigation with even more bizarre paranormal moments over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. From above, okay, give crow. Was pretty good. A security camera in San Vicente, Chicaloapan, Mexico. My peers for the best one so far. Very strange in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, because the Japan one seemed tight, but it really it was kind of unfortunate in the end. What the? Just what? A strange figure seems to float down from the sky, frightening a pack of dogs as it makes its way across yeah, a parking just lot. Like, and then it almost seems to change into an odd black figure. The footage went I mean, that's viral because of lighting. Just man. what this bizarre shape it's could lighting. possibly be. I don't Some know. Speculated that it might be something paranormal, or possibly even something alien. It looks like just a person. What do you I think just it is. Thank you so it's much. It's just weird how it doesn't look like their legs move at all. It now, and then also turn on all notifications. Which is really the only thing that I can't put together from that. I don't like that one, man. Oh, Destination Fear. I watched that show. That was so fun. But I, I, I say watch, but I really just skipped like the first 40 minutes and only watched the last five minutes because that's literally the only time anything happened. Viewer videos. Like when they're like time to split up and go to sleep. I'm like, okay, it's time to watch. It allegedly shows security footage of a ghost appearing around what locals claim is. Oh yeah, I'm skipping whichever one the thumbnail one is though. I hate that one. I was talking. What? Okay, it just looks like the camera's messing up, man. A man seems to be sitting near the well, and then just seems to. Uh, well, I don't know actually what he does, but it's creepy as hell. That really just feels like but the camera's messing up. Is this a ghost up. or just the oddest camera glitch ever recorded? Oh, I don't know, man. Really just feels like a camera glitch because I can see his body. His recently experienced something he just can't explain. Checking his Nest security camera, he saw what appeared to be a dark figure just standing in the road outside his oh. house. But this is where things take a truly disturbing turn. Uh-huh. What? That just feels like it's edited. Cars seem to pass right through this. It feels like it's two layers. So Isaac's uncle decides to go out to investigate. It feels like it's just two layers. Things are about to get even weirder. One layer is the normal video, and then that's the that's the sinking video. Then yeah, or like an image or something. The dark no figure seems see. to just disappear as the man approaches. So is this something supernatural watching his house? Or just what do you think this is? I think it's an edited Let me video. Know. It really just 
skills. Twelve years ago, a band in Veracruz was oh, okay, the the playing their skipping. final gig this as one of their members was for help. God dang, there's D from four. The YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures. One of them took three minutes. The four of them are gonna take park in Ohio, take thirty. The Beaver Creek what State the? Park in East Liverpool. The historic park is said to be a hot Which one spot of these of ghostly so sightings and even reports of mysterious that means creatures. roughly all four of these are gonna it's be like seven minutes old. Oh. walks deep nice. into the woods of the park. She finds a spot to settle Forest. and begins to experiment with her EMS meter and a spirit tingles. box app on her phone. She plans to test whether the stories of supernatural activity in Beaver Creek State Park are Beaver true. Beaver Creek State Park. It did not go well. Interesting name. Y'all can see me. I don't know. Ah, right myself. Anyway, I've got the EMF detector, and I'm gonna ice, um, man. can I help? I'm blinding myself. See if I can get anything to I interact with that. When I my old one, I used she really to should have light behind her. My old one, I used to have. Nah, man, it's not a good flashlight. That's a mid flashlight. It's not bad, but it's not good, man. It's one of the creepy flashlights. That's one of the flashlights you see in horror movies, man. What the hell is that? Dang, she got up real slow for that. What the hell? Guys, I was not even on. That I wasn't even on the app. I don't know what, how that came out of my freaking phone. I came out of her trembling sound startles D as it seems to come from right where she's sitting. What the a little shaken up, D believes oh, the sound sounds... might have come from the app oh, on her boy. phone, but she isn't sure and she is now freaked out. Bro, that ain't out. coming from her phone. Man. He decides to carefully trek back through the woods to her car Bro. and just leave. But what happens next? I was gonna say, her blood run she ain't cold. sprinting. She ain't trying. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't want to be in here. I want to go back to visit. Where's the person? Where's the person? I'm getting the tingles. Like Where's the person? Wild Show me the person behind her. Cat, her next to her. I don't feel good in this place, guys. I really don't know. Dan, run! Why are you standing still? I really don't know what Where is it? The music stopped. <laughs> nice. I was going to say, as soon as you hear that, immediately turn off your flashlight. I was gonna say, as soon as if you hear it getting closer, that's when you immediately t start taking a few steps back and go to a nearest bush. I can see it. It's my fucking phone. This is not good. I think they're trying to lure me out. There's flashlights. I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't know what to do, guys. If I move, they're gonna hear me. Oh, Help. no. Oh. Bro, I was gonna say, wait, with how this is adding up, they're gonna be the right next to her, man. man. For help, and Dee can see flashlights in the distance. Alone and afraid, Dee doesn't trust the call for help at all. So she keeps her flashlight and hides in the darkness. That was good. Suddenly, the voice can be heard right that next to her. That was good. And in terror, she just makes a run for it. I'm just surprised Later, she didn't run Dee at the start. says that she did make it home safe. That's a feels day, good man at least. She says she still has no idea who could have been yelling for Okay, that one made me tense. Uh, that Beaver one Creek actually State tensed Park me up. At that That's why. Force ones are something paranormal for being even freaky. scarier. Were those real people out in the middle of the dark woods stalking D and terrorizing her? Just so it's like it's either two options. It's either like, like people think. are trying to get her. Or they're trying to scary get her out of there because the ghost be or something are trying to get sure to I don't know. At I've, at I've at heard, heard so many folk tales and stuff. Project Fear. Oh! End of oh no, TV this series, is the... Destination Fear, yeah. team members Dakota, Chelsea, Tanner, and Alex are back on the road to explore and investigate extremely haunted locations. Hey, yo. This time on YouTube. With a new name, Project Fear. 
the team decides to go back to the old sweet I'm glad they're doing their own thing again in West Virginia a place where three years ago they experienced things that to this day they still can't explain did you oh know that you God. passed away what? 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 that was like a woman like, please tell me that was i have the kills did you know that you have passed away let's go say bro rip that goes unfortunate it didn't know did you hear any of it chelsea this happened by close to my yeah. room so i look back and i'm like i stand I love how when one person screams, everyone starts screaming. Like she had like a moment pause and then scream. Sweet Spring Sanatorium served as a hospital for tuberculosis patients in the 1940s. Like everyone just had to register. Over a thousand people lost their lives inside the sanatorium walls. Many of these people were buried in unmarked graves behind the building. Bro. The sanatorium later served as a nursing home for the old and poor before eventually being shut down in the 1990s. Now, not surprisingly, with a history like that, the largest state is said to be extremely haunted. Boy, Visitors yeah. have reported hearing loud, unexplained voices and screaming. And many have witnessed doors slamming shut on their own. Even creepier, some visitors actually claim to have seen ghostly apparitions. Most notably, that of a woman dressed in white standing in the window on the third floor in room this 3007. Still the, the TV people? So after their visit three years hey, ago, the is. project I was gonna say, is a like, little hesitant to return. This feels like a two the current manager of the sanatorium, thing. Cindy Harper, it just makes them even more nervous. So I have a question, so... When doing the research, you talked about how you were like thrown down the stairs at one yes. point. Oh. I don't oh. normally get pushed down the stairs. That's only happened one time, but it was bad oh. enough. Like I told you, I had bruises. You were like thrown down. It wasn't like a couple. It was stairs. like the push. I, I mean, I actually, I, I was expecting to be a human attacking me, and I, I found no one. So I drop all my equipment. I don't know what it looked like going down the stairs. <laughs> Just oh, my God. My God. Bruh. Okay. That was on the door, dude. That was the loudest knock. This is in the middle of the day still. That sounded like right next to my head. While interviewing Cindy about her terrifying experiences in the man. sanatorium, a loud bang on the floor startles both her and the project. I mean, she seemed team. really scared but by it. There's no one inside the building. Cut I mean, but there could have been. And as they darkness just falls, hated. the team decides that in order to try to provoke a response, investigator Bro, Tanner should head why? down to the basement all by himself that's a wild thing to agree to area of the Senate that's a wild thing to floor. ever agree after to. hearing a few unexplained noises dakota chelsea and alex begin a digital recording session inside the most haunted room room 3007 what happens Ooh, next shocks the team. whole team including tanner who's still completely alone in the basement we were here several years ago exploring this building. Do you remember us? Yeah, they do. We were here several years ago exploring this building. Do you remember us? <gasps> Dude, they said I remember Tanner. Oh, I hear that. Bro, I ain't Tanner. hear nothing, yes, man. And there's a pause. Yep. It just I sounded like something. static, dude. Let me play it again, just to verify. It really just feels like static. Hey, Dan. Go for Tanner. Are you aware that I'm not trying to scare you? I'm trying to give you a warning. We were doing digital recorder. Things in here matter to you. The basement. 
fighting about it. I'm like, <laughs> telling you this? That face like, is golden. The the day, like, it's a warning. Like, we want you to know to be on, like, your toes. What did I do? <laughs> That's really just how I be. <laughs> what did I do, <laughs> man? Why do you remember? It's freaky. Okay, man. Uh, what the? I heard something. Yo, are you okay? Can you do that again? What the? F oh boy. Sorry, sorry, I heard a voice, man. I promise it's not us, dude. And we don't hear you right now on the third floor. It's not like the echo or anything. Oh boy. I don't know what's oh, happening. Oh, I really so thought someone was going to go behind them. It really had that feeling. Eventually finds Tanner in the sprawling sanatorium basement, and they have him listen to what they captured on their digital recorder. We were here several years ago, starting this building. Do you remember us? Oh, what do you hear? We didn't tell you what we heard yet. We remember Tanner. Yes. Dude it says yes. I remember Tanner. Oh, I remember us. That is clear, dude. Tanner is the creepiest part because it's yes. so clear. Similar to what happened on their ah, previous no, visit man. three years earlier, the Project Fear team finds themselves hearing clear voices. One of which seems to remember Tanner. The four friends then split up to sleep at separate haunted locations. It's good, but it's not spooky building. kind of thing. Chelsea and Alex set up in the basement, Tanner on the second floor, and Dakota on the third floor. I wonder floor, if they still draw lots for where they haunted sleep. Room 3007. It goes without saying I liked how they drew lots where they slept, so it was never like one person. It was always in like the not super spooky area. Strange noises, but Dakota up on the most haunted third floor. So it was always funny when the same person would get it multiple times. Own, and it's downright chilling. Oh my god. Whoa. Bro, that's a car. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. It's a garbage flashlight, but having the dual mode is pretty That's nice. That's like a doorknob, like, rattle. Rattle the bones. I just heard you. Okay, there you go, man. Okay. I went down and explored to see if I could find, like, the source of that noise. I Probably just the door. Didn't you say it was a doorknob too? But it, could, it literally could have came from any single door at any single. Uh, <laughs> that was a girl's high pitched voice. Was it really though? Hello? Was it really? I feel like it gave off the same sound as chair, dude. I just was down there too. I was just down there. Literally could have came from any single door at any single uh, any single door at any single uh, I don't know man. Can you do that again? I don't know. Why is it zooming in so much, man? It makes sense to hear like a high pitched female where I'm at right now with the lady in white on this floor. Oh, snap. What the f Holy f that door is shut! That door is shut! That's crazy. Someone walked by. I saw that. I hope I caught that on camera. No way. Really just looked like someone walked by. No way. Yeah, that door is shut. This door. I just watched with my eyes. Shut. Oh. There is no one 
A disturbing voice scares Dakota out of his seat and then a door at the end of the hallway closes by itself. That was a now, door closing? Commenters on the Project Fear YouTube channel believe that this door doesn't just close by itself. But look closely. Yeah, I thought there was someone think? walking by. Yeah. So is the Sweet Spring Sanatorium haunted by something that's strong uh, enough to speak, slam doors, and even appear as a shadow apparition? I don't know you about that. You can watch one. this entire two-part investigation okay. with I think I found which one of the four is super long. Over on the YouTube channel, Project it's Fear. Definitely this one. Imprints. For two years, Eric Gunner has been experiencing Oh, actually, it's. Activity. Even it seems pretty even actually because there's so enough for the other two to be from house to house in Mexico. I think. Yeah. But most terrifying of all, each time Eric tries to get away, no, that one felt really long. Become more and more aggressive. It just so, say he was moving like away, but he's still past, getting Eric caught. Eric and his dog Bean are no. by the sound of loud hey, banging on his bedroom door. Get him, doggo. Eric is prepared with a flashlight and a camera. Intending to capture evidence of the hell that he's been living through. See, I love how our first instinct for like when this happens is to just grab a flashlight and a camera and not like a knife or anything, mm -hmm. man. Bruh, I hate your door with a passion, man. Eric's dog Someone need, he needs, needs to, to do something about that door. Something I hate that, that door. Eric can't see. Eric decides to Who would willingly the let their door make that squeaky sound? The house. There ain't no way. You hear that at 2 in the morning? Nah, dude. That's just GG. That's that. It's over. Bruh, turn on the light. What? Why are you only using the flashlight? Isn't this your house? Is that your key? Hello. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hello? Are you good? Nah, the music's gone. Where is it? Where is it? Escuché como si me hablara. No sé si se pasó a escuchar una voz. Bruh. Se lo juro que no sé si se pasó a escuchar una voz. Let's turn on the lights, man. I see the light switch. Sentí como si me soplaran en la nuca, no sé. Como si me hicieran así como. Mejor ya no pregunto eso. Eric says he felt something blow on the back of his neck, and his camera actually captures the sound. When it happens, mm -hmm. Eric has only been downstairs for six minutes when he suddenly notices something downright creepy. Okay. No, ma. What? No manches. What? How there's light at the top of the room? No, it's her flashlight. What? Okay. Okay. So supposedly a cross in his picture is missing now. Okay. A cross hanging on the living room. Oh wall yeah. And a photo that was hanging on the fridge only yeah, six minutes there was earlier three. are now mysteriously gone. What makes this so creepy is that Eric has barely moved and has been standing in the same general area for the entire six minutes. Interesting. No one could have snuck in Speed and taken times the fifty photo without being noticed. Or at least making a sound. Facts. But it's what happens next that is truly terrifying. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, snap. I see those. No. Pokey. There's no way, right? What the? What the? Two little childlike I was choking. The glass windows and door. Why would you ever touch the ghost the hand? Face emerges from the darkness. Why would you Eric ever touch the ghost hand? He runs back upstairs to his dog beans. No. And doesn't sleep for the rest of the night. I mean, it's like a. I think Just it's a safer option than opening your front door. Of fishermen in Aguadilla, Puerto but Rico, are still, home late one night when they spot something very strange beneath the water's surface. Well, what the blue light? I don't know. Dive underwater. Go check it out. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably just... It looks like that algae thing that goes on that one beach. I don't know, I'm sure science has this one. A strange bright blue light seems to be strobing in uneven bursts beneath the ocean waves. The guys head in for a closer look, and this is when things start to get really weird. Uh-huh. Mira, empezó en el puente y está en la boya, mira la boya. El puente está a mano izquierda, a mano izquierda. Mira eso, mira eso, mira. Mira, mira, mira eso. Hay algo ahí. I don't know. Man. UFO, bro. I swear, people forgot what UFO stands for. seen breaching the surface of the water and moving through the strange blue light. When the video man. was shared to the internet, many viewers' first thoughts were that it could simply be a diver. But others were quick to point yeah. out that there are no boats nearby. So where would a diver come from? And also, the oddly shaped figure doesn't seem to be wearing a diving tank. Finally, the figure seems to swim upright, almost as if it is somehow walking quickly it is kind of weird, but I don't know. clip went viral on the internet, with many viewers suggesting that this humanoid figure could be anything from a creature to an alien. Oh, I hate the underwater even shark. a mermaid. Bruh. What do you think this is? Everybody really Let trying to make know. the mermaids real. Down in the comments. Two years of terror. Oh. Over the last two years, Lauren Combs from Waco, Texas, has been experiencing terrifying, unexplained activity oh. in and around her home. Around? Bro, rip your doorbell. Did you do that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ever
After posting her videos, Lauren disappeared from social media for nine months before she finally Dang. returned with an update. Lauren update. says that over the last month, she's been feeling ill and drained of energy and having a very hard time. Huh. But strange things continue to happen around her home. One night as Lauren is on the phone with her boyfriend on her front porch, something happens that is truly bizarre. Uh, uh. Hey, when you come over? I gotta wait for my work clothes to dry. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Hey, I'm hungry. Hey, come on, Kevin. I can't just not leave out my work clothes. Okay, that's fair. Well, do you want me to just make something here? What do you have? I mean, uh, like, pizzas, or maybe chicken nuggets, Hey, yo, chicken nuggets. Bro, they're really trying to make me hungry, man. I haven't eaten yet today. I was gonna eat up this thing. Oh. Dude, my door just closed. Is that the Yes. And it's locked. What? I just got locked out of my house. That's wild. Yes, nobody's here. I mean, why didn't she leave? Oh. Huh? Hello? Yeah, I was gonna say, rip they do it on the phone, man. Rip they do it on the phone. But he thinks she's gone. Okay, that was just the door shutting from normal. Lauren's front door suddenly slams shut, locking Lauren out of her home with her dog still somewhere inside all alone. Lauren panics and hurries around her house to get inside through her back door. As she enters, then that door suddenly slams shut as well, and her doorbell begins to ring over and over all by itself. Lauren says that she eventually oh, found her dog oh. mysteriously trapped in the back room. Oh. The dog was a little shaken up, but otherwise, he was completely fine. Hey, now, good, cut to two months good, later. Good, One night when Lauren is in bed, she is woken up by her dogs a little after midnight. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Someone knocks on Lauren's window, but when she opens her window to look at the didn't backyard, hear anything. There's Boy. no one there. Then as she turns, she hears an odd growl near the open window that makes her scream. But did you see it? No, I didn't right see it or hear it. And wildly pans her camera back towards the window. Something odd can be seen right outside, just below the windowsill, but only for a brief second. Who or what is this? I don't know. It looked like After a bald incident, head. Warren hasn't been back on TikTok, but there is one important thing to be learned here, and that is. If someone or something pecks on your window in the middle of the night, yeah, why would don't open it? Yeah, like, why? Why would yeah. you? Nukes finally speaking the facts that I've been waiting for. Thank you. So why much for would you, you open already, your window? Now, and then also turn on all notifications so you never. Why open your window? 
Uh, dang, there was that one, huh? Actually, starting to get pretty far into it now. What? Yo, cute. We put a ton of effort into making our characters out of the softest materials we can. That's actually pretty cute. Oh my god. Nukes the hanging fire. man. Oh, I In his home in England, family man Ricky Beetle has gotten increasingly more worried about his son Elliot's yep. abnormal behavior. I am I remember this one. Ricky this one's just kinda uh, he it's literally just him drawing that dude. <laughs> It's just him arguing with and the places a ghosty. static camera oh, in the room to keep him okay. safe from this evil entity. Okay. Now, that was 20 years ago. So more recently, a paranormal enthusiast decided to do his own investigation to see if the house is really yeah. as haunted as locals claim. Yeah. And places a static camera in the room where the it's deceased Japan, family was found 20 years earlier. What he captures on video chills him to his core. Who's beating up the garage? Yeah, it sounds like someone punching the garage doors. Two large doors, god dang. What the? Okay. The unexplained loud shaking of the house's garage doors can be heard in the video. But that's not all. Because uh -huh. did you see it? No. Someone can be seen standing at the entrance of the room, seemingly watching or waiting. After seeing this ominous looking figure in his footage, the investigator just gets out of there. Huh. The new owner of the house now fears that his home is cursed. So he contacts popular oh, paranormal well. YouTube channel Fourth Wall. Fortunate, you hate to see him to investigate the house. This is how it be. So Fourth Wall sends in a cameraman to spend time the night for an investigation. Paranormal evidence he can. It did not go well. Why is there a cord going through the entire? Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's when you just put cameras around the whole area, leave, and come back in the middle of the day. What the next says isn't clear. You, you ain't being there at night, champ. It's not good to be there at night. Or alone. I don't. Out and looks all around, this dude was wild for saying yes to go alone. In the, house. the investigator decides to leave static night vision cameras inside and outside the garage where the little boy was found unharmed 20 years earlier. The man then leaves the property to see if anything happens while he's gone. Go, did he, he actually did my idea? Later, that was good, man. He is shocked by what he captured. That was good, man. Oh, shit. Spooky. The garage doors begin to shake violently as a pale figure seems to walk past the lower opening of one door, ambling slowly towards the room where the family's bodies were found 20 years earlier. Oh boy. The camera outside the garage captures the same loud shaking of the garage doors, but there's no figure to be seen. Bruh, that's wild. So, 20 years ago, was this what took the unfortunate family's lives? And did they lock their son in the garage to keep him safe from whatever this is? Huh. You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Just 
We need English. scary videos. So if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email My us at Nukes Top 5 at I've moved them in way too long. Email though. link in the description. My whole body is just cradle. like, oh. Nurse Marquette Jean from Mankato, Minnesota is enjoying a quiet night at home when oh, suddenly oh. her eye catches something strange on her daughter's baby monitor. Uh, it's a cat. Oh my god. Strange right. playmates. Afnan Arash claims that a strange presence has invaded his home in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh. He says that this powerful entity seems to grow stronger with each passing day. Oh boy. <clears throat> Oh boy. Whoa, eh? Oh boy. Afnan expects that one of his family members is simply playing a prank on him. But when he yanks the curtain back, there's no one there. But the oh bizarre boy. paranormal activity in Afnan's house soon starts to So you just keep like four bouncy balls so you can eat them at it or something? Squeak. God dang. Why so many people got squeaky cabinets? What the? <laughs> what the? Bro, that place ain't it, champ. Something seems nah. to be hiding in the very small cupboard in Afnan's kitchen. Something that quickly reveals a small, childlike hand. Afnan begins to wonder nah. if the strange entity that he is dealing nah, with. Nah, you just gotta leave that house. The house ain't child. it. The house ain't it, man. There ain't no coming back. Long, from that. Whatever this presence is seems to attach itself to his young son. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Bruh, I think I remember this one. This one's wild. Dubis. Kenapa Dubis selalu mengam di tu? Bruh, that's a wild sense to stay in. Um, just bruh. Nah, man. The sun seems to start playing with some strange entity that he can't see. But then, one night, the bizarre presence Just, seems to nah, show itself man. in its true form. And it's pure nightmare fuel. I hate this one, man. Something with long dark hair yeah. can be seen lingering behind the fridge, but when Afnan goes to look, there's nothing there. This thing then appears out of the darkness right in front of him. Now, as always, I leave it up See, to you to decide I don't know. whether the clips are real or not. But either way, I don't know. They're pretty weird, but I'm sure you could do something to get the... the dark visitor. They're just a gun user Alex from the Dominican Republic receives a very bizarre video from Please one say, of his gotta friends. give them hats off. The They're pretty shows good. His friend leaving his apartment to go to work at around 5:30 in the morning. What I remember this one. This one's kind of boring. Hey guys, There's literally just a uh, a camera malfunction of you pretty much for the person who's like half there or something. Check out this uh, and they 1930s Art Deco mannequin. From what I remember. Okay. There's oh, vintage stuff my mom got in like France, I think. Look at these dolls. I mean, it looks fancy. No. My mom just like collects dolls. No. Every room of this house is filled with antique. Even the bathroom. Bro. Daniel says that his mother has been collecting antiques for as long as he can remember, and he's starting to believe that some of the items might have something supernatural attached to them. One night when Daniel hears bizarre tapping coming from a room downstairs, he takes out his phone 
and begins to record. Bro. Guys. See, I, I realized that I always commented about the flashlight thing. Do you hear that? But after, like... Like, I think during last stream of ghost videos, I realized I'm like, you know, it's kind of dumb of me to say that. Because unless I'm, like, going camping or, like, anywhere like that. See, but then it's like, I had a double realization. I'm like, it feels dumb saying that. Because I'm only going to use the flashlight on my phone. I ain't going to use no regular flashlight or any good flashlight. Then I'm like, but that's just because I'd be in my house. If I was going to the woods, which I probably most likely never will, or an abandoned building, same thing, you best believe I'm bringing a good flashlight and extra batteries. Got to make sure I get them double A batteries. Rip my Xbox controller. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't like tall houses. Like, where is this coming from? It's like knocking at the door. It's wild that he said hello. But I mean, After the I say that, but that's just how it'd be. To install a security camera to keep an eye that really just how it'd be. Oh. Five days later, and this happens. What? Just a bed move for the chat? Yeah, that chest looked weird up there. They really like that chair. Miniature furniture inside the dollhouse seemingly moves all by itself. Cut to the next night. Okay. It's 2.30 a.m. and the knocking returns. But this time, it's not coming Bruh. from the dollhouse. That's wild. I love how they have the outside camera, but no light for it. He sees nobody is there. <laughs> oh my. This music is really trying to amp up what this situation is. Bro, it really feels like we're watching a dude go crazy or something. Throw hands, throw hands. At this point, Daniel has had enough, and he moves the old dollhouse into the garage with some other old collectibles. Uh, and this is when things start to get really creepy. No, why? Bruh. Bruh. That's when you just gotta eat everything out. Like, everything's gotta Disturbingly, go. a doll's eyes seem to move on their own. Daniel begins to wonder if whatever is haunting the dollhouse might have moved into the creepy little doll. But some of Daniel's viewers on TikTok start to get a bit suspicious as to whether his clips are real. So some of you are saying that I am making all of this up, which I totally get. I mean, yeah. I cannot prove to you, like, 
undoubtedly that I'm. It's just it's super easy to, to reporting to you guys what I am seeing to do now, this. Even stuff. Daniel's own mother is skeptical of his claims that something from the dollhouse might now be haunting their home. But all that changes one night when she oh, too experiences shit. something downright chilling. Spooky mannequin falls. Mannequin fall? <laughs> I thought the mannequin was going to fall. As Daniel's mother is watching TV on the couch, little footsteps like those of a small child can be heard running right behind her. The sudden spooky sound she startles her so much that she quickly raises up to look and is visibly freaked out because there's no one there. I thought he was going to so say, did you see it? And I was just going to be like, these years nah, dude. Their paranormal experiences? Or is it all he just, just baited me, hope? man. You decide. The man on the top floor. Oh. Japanese paranormal investigator Gachan from the YouTube channel Clip Store sets out to explore an old abandoned hotel oh. all by himself. The hotel okay. sadly had to close its doors in financial ruin okay. over 30 years ago, driving the owner of the hotel to tragically end his own life. Oh. Visitors to the abandoned structure often claim to have seen the apparition of a man, and some say they've even heard his voice. Huh. Now, while exploring the second floor of the hotel, Gachan is a bit shaken up when he hears strange noises coming from somewhere in the hallway. Hmm. Why does it feel like the doors are just gonna shut? Is that right? Yeah. Doesn't look like the doors move. Drop kick the doors. <laughs> My first instinct is just drop kick. Oh, I was right. It was a door. I, I think. Yeah, this door is shutting. It feels good, man. I was right. Feels good, man. I'm starting to at least be able to guess what's gonna happen to Ghost. I remember I was so off at the store, but I'm actually starting to pick up on things. But those doors really feel like they would all just shut and sink or something. Bro, that would be the freakiest mm -hmm. thing. It's not when one door closes, it's really like, a, oh my god, the door closed. When they yeah, all that. close at the same time, that's the when you get caught. That's itself. when you get caught. I'm getting chills for sure myself because no now I'm thinking about all the doors the hotel, closing at once. And he asks several times whether someone is there. When he receives no answer, he takes a look inside the room, but no one there. Uh -huh. During his Bruh. investigation, Gachan keeps hearing something dripping inside the hotel's elevator shaft. Uh huh. When he reaches the top of the building, he takes a look inside the open shaft. What happens next oh, is downright no. chilling. Oh no. Bruh. Bro, I didn't see nothing, man. I was gonna say, when's the spooky part gonna come? John looks inside the elevator shaft, but doesn't find anything to explain. I thought something in there would be spooky. But when he walks away, his camera pans around and captures the horrifying sight of two legs hanging inside the top of the oh. elevator shaft. Okay, the chills are back. <laughs> Okay, the chills are most certainly back now. 
Okay. Gachan doesn't even know what he just captured until he reviews his footage later okay. at home. So could it be that these pale legs belong to the spirit of the deceased owner? Or is there something else going on here? Let me know what you think. You can watch I don't know. All I know is that you gotta get out of there. Channel, clip store. The haunted Nevada State Prison. Dang. Paranormal investigator AJ from the YouTube channel Ghost Vexers Paranormal sets out to investigate the infamous Nevada State Prison in Carson City, Nevada. The prison was built in 1862 huh. and housed some of the most notorious and violent inmates in the world, many of whom never made it out. With hundreds of deeply troubled prisoners that lost their lives inside its walls and 160 years worth of history, it's no wonder that the building is said to be extremely haunted. The old prison was closed down in 2012 and the custodians now host creepy tours to share the strange and very dark history of I mean, the prison. It still looks pretty entire. AJ is exploring the abandoned jail late really at night in hopes though. of catching some sort of supernatural well, I guess not activity. Old, but since it's As he's been walking along a cell block all by himself, he captures it looks something really well. truly chilling. So what, I think they said like 1910 or something? I don't remember. Maybe. I think poor. Dang, it got blurry. Wait. Okay. Cool. That looks like an eddy. That was pretty terrifying. Right in front of AJ, a tall white figure appears to walk by and out of sight. Ah, the investigator know, says that he didn't even see the apparition at the time and only noticed it when he went back through his footage. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that AJ isn't the first one to capture something truly bizarre at the old Nevada State Prison. The haunted I side paranormal investigations spooky. team, Patrick and Jason, also caught something on camera in the prison that they just didn't see at the time. Okay. Jason is filming that would have been really spooky. It was just a lamp outside the prison or whatever. But I, I'm like, uh, it reminded me of the chalice or whatever that wasn't lit. But when they put the camera like down, it was. I'm like, maybe this happens. Maybe. I'm the newest prisoner. Bro, that's a wild thing to do. Which sells mine? Did you see it? No. Even though the bright light shining on Patrick from the camera doesn't change at all, some odd black shadow suddenly envelops most of Patrick's body, blocking out the light. The okay. outside team only noticed this strange unexplained light anomaly after reviewing their video later. There is no logical explanation as to why Patrick Just... would suddenly okay. be covered in darkness. So, combined with AJ's bizarre white figure, we have two creepy incidents caught on camera at the Nevada State Prison. Yeah. So is the old jail haunted by its former inmates? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Over it. These paranormal moments can be found on the YouTube channels Ghost Vexers Paranormal and The Haunted Side. Frozen Ooh. in his tracks. Oh, TikTok user Creed 4 is enjoying a hike out in the woods when he notices a small okay, bunny damn my attention. behaving very <laughs> strangely. Oh no. No, dude. Okay. Just a bunny rabbit. Hole. Good choice. Good choice. That's all I'll say. He was right there. I was gonna say. Why did he stop running? He has a wild keep rabbit going. freezes in its tracks and doesn't move even when the hiker comes close. And his camera captures a creepy muffled voice asking for help. Yeah. 
I mean, he, he is one of the only people that I've actually seen sprint away. Not many people Bacta actually just sprint, but he did stop strange his creature was just... trying to lure him out into He does the lose some points for that one. He'll never hike again without some kind of weapon. Facts. Do you think this creepy voice can be? Let me know. Undetected. Ooh. You can stop by if your German Corona reached out to me about Ooh. a very strange incident that he captured at his home in Santa Barbara, California. German says that one night he got an alarming notification from his security camera that a person had been spotted on top of his roof. He hurried outside to investigate, but he found no one and nothing there. The same night he receives another notification. Again, a person has been detected on his property. When he reviews his security footage, he Just is shocked by what he finds. Okay. Okay. Now it's a little hard to make out, but the faint shape of something can be seen moving ah, around on German's man. property. Seemingly uh, climbing from the ground up to the roof and then back down again. Whatever it is seems to capture the attention of German's cat, who no, seems to stare a at the bizarre cat. shape no. before just looking around in absolute you. confusion. So could it be that German accidentally captured paranormal activity outside um, his home? Maybe, or what do you but... think this could be? Ah, uh, no, man. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, do it no. now. And then also turn on... I'll watch a little bit of another one. I don't think I'll make it the whole way through this. Don't get outmatched by the outdoor. I read that as Shrek. With shark flex breeze. I am mentally it. losing myself the more of these I watch. One last goodbye. Back in nope. September, veterinary nope. student Mary Carmen Flores from Arequipa, Peru, adopted I remember a that one too. Labrador. Alright. Yeah, he's just in the middle of the forest and someone's screaming help. I think that tree is heard months earlier. Could this oh be my one of the bird man. Or right. is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The devil down in the hole. Oh. Andrew Smith regularly sets out to explore secluded tunnels. I don't know. I feel like I've skipped through that the video already. Arizona. On one of his trips, he finds an abandoned mining cave and decides to take Why? a look inside. What happens Why? next? Why? It's an is abandoned mining chilling. cave. My, my dude, that could. Why are you standing there? Of course it's a bad idea. You heard the scream. You stood still. You heard the scream again. And you decide to walk towards it? Okay, I don't know about that one. That one really felt like a video game music or audio. I I know the way back. There's arrows on the walls. I saw an arrow on the wall pointing the way out. Going deeper, bruh. Andrew suddenly hears a scream, followed bruh. by the chilling sound of running footsteps this feels so deep scripted. within the cave. This isn't Andrew's first cave explorer, and he actually manages to keep calm and continue his trek through the tunnels. But the sounds become increasingly more disturbing. Andrew's camera captures what sounds like several voices whispering to him. 
Okay. One of the voices even seems to say, we don't know who this is. Andrew I could Thomas. not get that out from... I no tried really hard to get that from that... Sounds. Whatever those noises we were, I couldn't. The of the abandoned mine or why it was abandoned in the first place... It leaves you to wonder just what happened there. That feels one script, and it just feels like it's a lot of audio noises. just put in over. But as to whether it's real or not, as always, nah, man, I it ain't to feel you like it. Decide. We need scary it, videos. Like, so I'm pretty sure it was, but it really just feels like a TikTok series or something, where they like break it out into like eight different parts or something. These next creepy videos were recorded by a woman from the like, Philippines know, who wishes man. to remain anonymous. The woman had just moved into know. an apartment with her partner when she quickly realized that something was very wrong there. Okay. First, her dog begins to continuously bark at their door even though there's nobody there. And whenever oh she's alone, someone knocks on the door as if trying to enter. Huh. One night she hears a child running through the hallway and watches as the door handle moves by itself. She then okay. hears a woman shouting at the child, so she finally decides to grab her phone and record. Boy. Okay. It really feels like it's just... Okay, there's a hallway that could be around the corner now. It's literally just a family of people. Every time she looks through her peephole, she finds no one there that would explain what she's hearing. It's just a family of people. It should be noted that there were two apartments on the floor, but the other apartment was mysteriously and completely vacant. No one else lived on this floor, so there should be no one in the hall, no child, no woman. Maybe they got off sounds. at the wrong. The kid got so off on the, the wrong. So the shows her footage the to her husband, and they alert the building security guard. But he too finds nothing and no one to explain it's what really she's captured on like. video. There's no one on that floor. Another late night, and this time the woman is startled know, awake by loud screaming and crying, again coming from the hallway, right outside her door. What she captures is absolutely chilling. Okay. A child can be heard screaming and a woman can be heard okay. sobbing. Loud banging echoes through the hallway. Horrified, the woman contacts security immediately. When the guard watches the footage, he goes pale. He breaks down and tells her that on the same day 12 years ago, a woman and her seven-year-old daughter brutally lost their lives in the Whoa. other apartment on that same floor. Bruh. It was suspected that the father had ended their lives, but he was never caught. And that is why the other apartment had been left empty for years. Oh, Terrified by the incident and what she had captured on video, yeah, you just gotta the woman get out of decided that to share her story on oh. the internet. So, okay. could the spirits of the woman and her little girl be trapped, condemned to Dang. experience their Something tragic really end yeah, I'm over just gonna post and over, it online, man. never able to move on? That'll help me. Let me know what you think. Japanese ghost hunters Hiro and Tomo from the hey, YouTube channel yo. of the Toki film set out to investigate an abandoned nice. school that sits on top of a mountain somewhere in the countryside Ooh, of Japan. The, the investigators don't know why the school was left abandoned. Probably because it's a school on the mountain. Took her own it's in the middle of nowhere. The school, and that her tragic spirit still walks the hallways. Curious visitors have Literally reported a school an alarming on a amount of paranormal events. Including the high-pitched laughter of children and the apparitions of young boys and girls watching down from the upstairs windows. In one dark room in the basement, a long desk and chair sit creepily 
in the middle of the room. Uh, 100 percent someone did that on so purpose. Intensely haunted that it has set previous visitors running from the property. 100 percent someone did that on purpose. Together with their cameraman, Hiro and Tomo entered the building and soon began to hear strange sounds and voices. After having explored the main and second floor of the school, they finally head into the basement in search it's of the infamous, most haunted room in the entire school. The Why does the school room. have a basement? What? Raw. <laughs> My first thought was, so who's gonna sit in it? <laughs> Bro, I'd be too crazy doing one of these, man. Because we'd have to do it late at night, and the more late at night, I'd definitely get unhinged during these. Be like, I'd 100%, I'd 100 say that, man. I'd hit, I'd feel so bad that I said it, but 100% I'm saying who's going to sit in it. I know myself, man. I ain't going to sit in it, but I'm still going to ask a question. I'm sure someone would be quick. Oh. Yeah, I don't think anybody's sitting in that. Investigator Hero okay. takes a few photos with his phone and thinks nothing of it. That is, until he gets back to the car Just, and looks okay. through his photos. What he finds is truly disturbing. Shhh. <laughs> ちょっと、ほら。え。え、わか、見える人ってそうそうそうそうそう。え、本当黒い物体だから。なんか人には見えないんだけど。うん。まあでもか。うん。そのもとに映るものもなかった。ないよないよないよ。だって前の写真がね、さっきの写真これだもんね。うん。ちょ
<laughs> or probably hurt your legs a bit though. In a split second, a dark ship appears to be standing inside one of the rooms. Facts. Whoever or whatever it is disappears before the investigator know, can though. even blink. Hero runs over and searches the area, but there's no one there. There is also no exit that the person could have taken from that room. Now shaken up by the ordeal, Hero takes a deep breath and decides to get his investigation done as quickly as possible so that he can leave the spooky He's school. He's still going he for it. and back into the creepy basement room from their last visit. Why did he go upstairs if he wanted to go downstairs? Even creepier turn. I don't understand the oh, bra the camera, man. Okay. Why are they showing the keyboard? Okay. That's a wild. That's a wild ad. That's a wild ad. They're literally showing a dude hit three keys and starts eating chips in the middle. I don't know, dude. That's what's going on. Okay. Someone in the room. I, 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 I ain't seen nothing, man. Show it to me. Something. Huh? Money mom. Nah, dude. Nah, man, that ain't it, dude. That ain't it, man. That ain't it. That ain't it, dude. Okay. When Hero takes a seat on the chair, he suddenly feels what he describes as a presence watching him from inside the basement. Bro, that he hears ain't noise it, and man. looks, but the sound okay, is not shows her back. On camera. That ain't but it, man. Suddenly, just then, a horrifying pale face slides out from underneath the desk. Hero makes a run for yeah, it. Yeah, man. And with that, the Omagatoki team has had enough, and they leave yeah. to just go home. Now, whether you believe Japanese paranormal encounters are real or not, the footage uh. is most definitely very creepy, and it certainly freaked me out. Same, so you can man. watch this entire three-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. Windows that was to the good, sun. bro. That was good. This next good, mysterious bro. video was shared to the internet over 15 years ago. 15? The video shows a group of friends hanging out somewhere in the city of Thessaloniki in Greece when the camera captures sure. something they simply can't explain. Just gonna... Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back on another investigation. This time at the allegedly haunted Vicksburg Cemetery Wait, in Renville County, dude? Minnesota. The old graveyard is abandoned, overgrown, and hidden away deep in the Minnesota woods. In the oh, 1870s, the cemetery oh, was part man. of the thriving town of Vicksburg. <laughs> Just instantly, the village what? is now nothing more oh, than a ghost man, town. Man, here we go Perhaps again. Quite literally. You see. Visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing okay. and hearing supernatural activity, and locals warn tourists to stay away from the graveyard at night. Midwest Ghost Hunter, aka Ian, soon finds out why. I right. see, I see. What the heck is that? Entering the cemetery. Why is it like an arrow? It's not a gate. Alright, I'm coming design. over to visit. I hope you don't mind. It's so polite. Dang, unfortunately. This whole grave is in shambles. Yeah. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. That sounded like, yeah. Yeah, I just heard you. Ian finds a headstone <laughs> that seems to have been smashed to pieces. Yeah, it's And when he asks whether the headstone has been vandalized, a quiet little voice seems to whisper, yeah. Called it. <laughs> it's just what it's the investigator like. is shocked by what he just heard. 
He believes that the spirit he is talking to might be associated with the smashed headstone. So he tries again. If you're still here, could you tell me your name? Because unfortunately there's, there's really no way for me to tell. I really want, don't want to dig around your grave shambles. Because I don't want to damage it any further. Uh -huh. You don't have to be shy, ma'am. As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. Facts. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. Dang, that's no okay. Bug spray, unfortunately, it's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Whoa. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I heard that. I heard you once again. Whoa, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. Ian asked to hear the spirit's voice one more time. And this time okay. a soft voice seems to answer, it's lonely here. Huh. Ian decides to explore more of the cemetery and when he reaches another gravestone, something happens that he just can't explain. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? I don't know, man. Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Huh. That sounded like the fence. Did you just rattle this fence? What's your name? Interesting. Here, I could try to read your grave. What does that say? Nanny? Is your name Nanny? <gasps> whoa. Okay. I don't know. I take that as a yes. Thank you. Thank you for the water. Is there anybody else that's buried here? Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Whoa. I just heard your voice. Could you say it once more? Thank you. Thank you for the water. Dude. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I just mm -hmm. heard you again. I just the received stuff. an intelligent response from what sounds like a ghostly little girl. And now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. Nanny Bickle, Dang. who passed away at the age of five, and Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. Dang. After the fence surrounding two gravestones rattles oh. on its own and the voice of a little girl seems to respond, Ian decides to take some pictures. What happens Doesn't next he get a face is or something, absolutely probably. unnerving. Pose for the photo. There's no way he gets both of them, right? Could you smile? All right, I'm going to count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One. There's no way. Two. Right. Three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty Bruh. little girls staring into the camera from the gravesite. They both appear Bruh. to be in their adolescence, have long hair, and dark beady eyes. In the photo taken Bruh. afterwards, they are completely gone. Two misty apparitions that look like little girls appear in one of Ian's pictures, sitting right next to what he believes Bruh. is their own gravestone. So is old abandoned Vicksburg Cemetery truly haunted? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, do it now, and then also turn on- Interesting. Only Benny! Any- oh boy. What the- wait. New daily dose? Wait, no, didn't the last one? Yeah. Last one just came out. Oh, the Archeon trailer. Oh, yeah, that was a wild trailer, I think. 
And I just remember that the Honkai Star trailer was wild. The Honkai Star trailer was wild. The most recent one or whatever. That one was good. It was good. But I think I am gonna call it there, though. It has been quite fun. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, tomorrow's definitely gonna be Genshin. Because there's gonna be new banners and hopefully new events. So that should be quite nice. There won't be maintenance. Yay. Oh, uh, buddy. Yeah. Same time tomorrow, uh, 3 p.m. PST. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, buddy, yo, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope you guys will grow sure. Uh, night.